You heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Corypheus needed Samson to use the well. Without him, there's no vessel to claim it. The moment we leave, he will send more forces to secure this place. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. It's better that knowledge remain in the well, never passed on. You'd rather destroy it. There are other places, friend, other duties. Your people yet linger. Elven such as you? Yes, such as I. You have shown respect to Mithal, and there is a righteousness in you I cannot deny. Is that your desire? To partake of the Vera Belasan as best you can? To fight your enemy? Not without your permission. One does not obtain permission. One obtains the right. The Vera Belisan may be too much for a mortal to comprehend. Brave it if you must. But know you this. You shall be bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to a goddess who no longer exists, if she ever did. Bound as we are bound. The choice is yours. Is it possible this Mithal might still exist? Anything is possible. Elven legend states that Mithal was tricked by Fen Harel and banished to the beyond. Elven legend is wrong. The Dread Wolf had nothing to do with her murder. Murder? I, I said nothing of. She was slain if a god truly can be, betrayed by those who destroyed this temple. Yet the Vera Balasan remains, as do we. That is something. Are you leaving the temple? Our duty ends. Why remain? There is a place for you, Letheline, if you seek it. Perhaps there are places the Shamlin have not touched. It may be that only Uthenera awaits us. The blissful sleep of eternity never to awaken, if fate is kind. You could come with us. Fight Corypheus. He killed your people. We killed ourselves long ago. Malas Amali Nahalam Abalas. His name. Abalas means sorrow. I said, I hope he finds a new name. You'll note the intact Illuvian? I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last alluvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Seems like that should be a concern. Knowledge begets a hunger for more. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Or more likely to your own ends? 
What would you know of my ends, elf? You are a glutton drooling at the sight of a feast. You cannot be trusted. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. You alone? This is my heritage. I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? What about you, Solus? No. Do not ask me again. I would be. You lead the Inquisition. This is not a risk you can take. I have the best chance of making use of the well for everyone. Let me drink. You're not concerned about the price. Bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so. What's to stop you from taking the knowledge and leaving? My word. If that seems insufficient, Corypheus threatens all, even myself. He must be stopped. And who stops you? I, Inquisitor, seek neither immortality nor your life. Thoughts? She is right about only one thing. We should take the power which lies in that well. I trust you with this power more than her. But it's not for me to decide. You're asking me? This is a lot of... weird... I barely understand how any of this works. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. Looking at it, listening to it. That's not just knowledge from the ancient elven priests. It's their will. How would you know such a thing? That's what Abelas was telling us. The collective will of the priests puts anyone who drinks under a compulsion, a gas. Can't you feel it? That would match the legends, but it does not tell us what the gas entails. I would still use the well, but you are right. We must be cautious. If anyone is to use the well, it will be me. So you will take what little knowledge you can understand and let the rest go to waste? And who's to say it will go to waste? I do. Perhaps it is better this way. Do as you will with the Well of Sorrows, Inquisitor. But be careful. Corypheus, a magister wishes to rip the veil open. I must learn how to stop him. If you can help me vanquish Corypheus, take whatever price you wish. Inquisitor! Inquisitor!
Guardian! Through the mirror! It is done. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. He won't hide. You hear it. The well speaks to you. I hear something. Oh, if only one who understood such voices had used the well's power instead. Then we'd have to rely on her interpretation of them, and whatever she chose to tell us. Have I not been forthcoming enough for you, Spymaster? I told you what the well could have done, Inquisitor. You should be hearing shouts from the heavens, not whispers. I have the well's power, Morrigan, not you. Earlier, you said you knew what needed to be done next. What did you mean? The dragon isn't an archdemon. It's a dragon in which Corypheus has invested part of his power. Kill it, and his ability to jump to other bodies is disrupted for a time. He can be killed. That's no simple task. Corypheus alone is powerful, but where there's dragon... There is a way, but I'll need Morrigan's help. The voices from the well tell you that, do they? Very well, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready to begin this plan of yours. Are you certain of this? We have no choice. If Corypheus comes here now... I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. Inquisitor. Thank the Maker you're here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Illuvian. She was terrified. What? Why is the Illuvian open? It was open when I arrived. Morrigan said only that Kieran did it. Then she ran into the mirror. I've never seen Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will find help, Inquisitor. Wait, this isn't the crossroads. This is the Fade. How did the Alluvian lead here? Can it go anywhere? Morrigan! Go back! I must find Kieran before it's too late. Why would Kieran do this? How could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer.
There he is. Who's with him? That's... No. It can't be. Mother! Mother. Now, isn't this a surprise? So this is all some kind of family reunion? <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandson. It rather warms the heart, does it not? Kirin is not your grandson. Let him go. As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful? I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son. Oh, be a good lass and restrain her. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Of course you know. You drank from the well, did you not? <gasps> you... Armthal. Well, that was unexpected. You, of all people, should expect the unexpected by now. I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mythal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mythal inside you? She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. What do the voices tell you? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mythal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. So young and vibrant, you do the people proud, and have come far. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. I know the name Flemeth. My people call you Ashabelanar, the woman of many years, and speak of your legend. It says long ago you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover, and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mithal, that's what you spoke of. One day someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends, helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> If Mythal is a part of you, why haven't you helped us? We've called to you, prayed to you. What was could not be changed. What about now? You know so much. You know not what you ask, child. Why did Mythal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. 
So must I serve you now because I drank from the well? Is that how you see yourself? A servant? I have no commands for you. Not yet. Then what is it you want? One thing, and one thing only. I have to go now, Mother. No. I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was, snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. He is not your pawn, Mother. I will not let you use him! Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose? The reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her, and now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, the way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Mother, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. If Kieran is so special, why did you wait until now to come for him? I did not know where he was. Morrigan cleverly hid him from me. Until now. <gasps> Twas the well. Be thankful you did not drink. Imagine, bound to your dear mother for eternity. <laughs> Whatever else you think he is, Kieran is still a child. And so much better behaved than his mother was at his age. Kieran, I... As you wish. Hear my proposal, dear girl. Let me take the land, and you are free of me forever. I will never interfere with or harm you again. Or keep the lad with you, and you will never be safe from me. I will have my due. He returns with me. Decided so quickly. Do whatever you wish. Take over my body now if you must, but Kieran will be free of your clutches. I am many things, but I will not be the mother you were to me. dreams? No more dreams. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. As for you, Inquisitor, there is an ancient altar deep within a shaded wood. Go to it. Summon the dragon that is its guardian. Master it in combat, and it is yours to command against Corypheus. Fail and die. Wait! Are you all right, Kieran? You are not hurt. I feel lonely. She wanted the old god soul all along. 
Is it worth reminding myself that perhaps I do not know everything after all? My mother has the soul of an elven goddess, or whatever Mithal truly was, and her plans are unknown to me. You truly had no idea what she was? I knew she kept the truth from me. I even suspected she was not truly human, but this... I always thought the so-called elven gods were little more than glorified rulers, but now... I have doubt. And doubt is... an uncomfortable thing, Inquisitor. I suppose I should be thankful you drank from the well. Eternal servitude to Mother would not be my first choice. So Kieran had the soul of an old god? Taken from the Archdemon at the final battle of the Fifth Blight. Yes. He has never known anything else. I'm uncertain what effect this will have on him. But why did you... I told you at the temple, the magic of old must be preserved. No matter how feared. Kieran had a destiny, and now... It is in Flemeth's hands. I suppose we shall see what she does with it. For what it's worth, I think you did the right thing. Did I? She was testing me. And I cannot tell whether I passed. Mother said, you must summon a dragon at an ancient altar. Do you know where that is? I think so. It's a place dedicated to Mithal. As, no doubt, is the guardian you must battle. Pray my mother has not led you astray, Inquisitor. She is not above doing so for her own amusement. This is all that's left of the altar. We few who travel far, call to me and I will come. Without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight. Let the fire of vengeance burn. The cause is clear. A very old invocation. Perfectly translated. I'm here, Flemeth. Just as you told me. If I must master a dragon to fight Corypheus, then send it. Did it fly off? Will it come back? It will come when I summon it. Once. That's enough to fight Corypheus, however. I have my dragon. Now we need only find Corypheus. <laughs> 